welcome to St. Mary's and welcome to this particular offering uh, that we've got for you and for our, our community here at St. Mary's and anybody else who wants to come along. So it's not news to you that there are a couple big things that have been going on uh, in our community and across the nation. One is the, the coronavirus that's changed everybody's life. Has everybody hunkered down in ways that we don't like, uh, but it's, it just keeps on going. And then the other issue or reality that's, uh, that has raised its head is, uh, is racism and racial tension that affects uh, the, our nation as a whole, uh, but also affects our community. Now, it would be nice to be able to say that, um, that racism doesn't exist, or I'm not a racist, or all of, you know, all of the kind of the jargon that's out there, but the fact is uh, that, that given our history and where we've come from, that racism is just a part of the community in which we live and, and in our world as we live. And so George Floyd and, and his murder um, has uh, has certainly aroused that kind of underlying tension that that exists in communities across the country, and so it has become a, really a great opportunity for us and people across the country to be able to to think about race and our relationship with each other and what what is what what really do we have to be able to learn from people who uh, who are very different from us it's so easy if you're like me to walk around in a bubble and just assume that everybody everybody's life is like mine but everybody's life is not like mine and so to be able to listen to the experience of other people who who we really love and trust uh, to be able to hear their stories about who they are and how they grew up and and the kinds of factors that influence them and so we started a, a listening series here as we begin to talk about uh, about some of these issues with people uh, who are important in our community. So we're going to do that for the next six weeks. And, uh, and we created this tab as a tab for resources. So things within the Episcopal Church that talk about the history of race and things that are going on right now that, that can help to alleviate some of the tension and help to, to allow those issues to be able to surface. And then, and then things that we can do out into the future uh, that allow us to be hopeful about where it is that we're going and the kinds of the kinds of community that we can allow to be birthed among us. So I hope you take the time to be able to go through the variety of resources that are available here and in other places and uh, and come join us for the listening series and listen as we continue to have a community conversation together because that's what it is uh, for all of us to be able to do our own homework uh, on this important issue and then to share the learnings that we have together. We can do it ourselves, but for it to be really profitable, we need you. So welcome to this opportunity for us to think about how it is that we relate across boundaries of, of culture and skin color and in fact even economics. So this, this whole area, this tab on our website that will contain inf information about racial reconciliation. You know, what does it mean for us as people who are come from diverse places to be able to come together in the body of Christ? So come, help us out and see what it is that God would stir in our hearts together and the kind of a community it is that we can work on forming together for the future. Have fun. Take care.